To turn to our top story, the flooding situation now in northern New South Wales. Our reporter Jackson Vernon joins us from the worst hit area, the town of Lis Lismore. Jackson, and we can see the inundation behind you. Good morning. Good morning, Virginia. Yes, I'm hoping you can make out just some of the, the flooding behind me. I'm standing in the middle of the Lismore CBD at the moment where um, the streets of Lismore is quickly becoming uh, rivers and the water is quickly moving into the town. And at the moment, this really is only the beginning of it. And to discuss the unfolding situation here in Lismore, I'm joined now by the Lismore Mayor, Isaac Smith. Isaac, uh, Mr. Smith, welcome to News Breakfast. Just tell us, how, do we how would you describe the situation unfolding in Lismore at the moment? Oh, look, the words everyone's using is unprecedented. Uh, we had so much rain yesterday that uh, the river rose in a way we haven't seen for maybe 30 to 40 years. So locals with a bit of knowledge might have seen it coming, but uh, everyone's been caught uh, quite unawares. But we're working hard with the SES to make sure that everyone is doing the right thing. At the moment, though, this looks quite dramatic and it looks quite high, but it, but it really is only the beginning, isn't it? It is. Look, this was a flood town, so people who've lived here uh, more than a couple of decades have seen this before. They've watched the flood levels rise, and you can see there's people walking around us, not feeling too, uh, too uh, concerned. But, look, it is going to come up, and we've already evacuated the CBD. Uh, the power is off down here, so people should be uh, really leaving the CBD now because we have never had the levee over top before, so we just don't know what the water's going to do. So talk to me about the fact that the water is coming over the levee. How serious is that and what problems does that cause for the town? Yeah, look, it's a good question because it's never happened. Twelve years now the levee stood there and kept out a lot of uh, minor and moderate floods. This is the first major flood that's gone over, so it's gone close before. Um, and really we were actually expecting the, the uh, CBD to be inundated a lot quicker than it was. So we're actually glad we've got more time. Uh, to get businesses out. So uh, a lot of people here are just a bit concerned about how high it's going to go, but we honestly don't know. So really what we're looking at is making sure people don't spend too much time in the CBD uh, while we wait for the water to see what's going to do. The levy was raised 12 years ago to withstand floods. Is it doing its job at the moment or or how has this, you know, caught everyone off guard? No, look, it has done its job. Um, over those 12 years, it's kept out something like five minor and moderate floods, and that's already saved our town tens of millions of dollars. So it's more than paid for itself two or three times over. Uh, but we all knew eventually it was going to come over the levee. Uh, it was just a matter of when. So uh, the fact that it's come over and only just come over, uh, look, it, things could have been a lot worse. You've spoken about the people that are standing around, you know, this sort of this calmness about everyone. Flood is, tourists, we call them. <laughs> is, though, that a concern for authorities that there is that level of complacency because people are so used to flooding in Lismore? Yeah, look, it is. Um, we have residents who have been evacuated or told to evacuate from north and south Lismore, which is on the other side of the river. Um, but they're a very stoic bunch, and anyone who's been there more than 30 or 40 years is probably still sitting in their house saying, it's all right, I've been through it before. But the SES are quite clear. Um, it's not worth risking it. It's not worth thinking your house is going to be safe or you're going to be safe because um, every flood is different and as we've seen over the last 24 hours we've had more rain uh, than we've ever had before so you just can't be too careful. And, and what's going to be the, the focus today? What are the SES and authorities telling you about how this is going to unfold? Yeah, so uh, our flood uh, basin here is quite a large one, so we don't have a high uh, flood peak that drops really quickly. This flood is going to peak sometime in the next six to eight hours, perhaps, and it's going to stay roughly at that level for almost a day. So um, the water's not going to be going down anytime soon, and it'll recede very slowly. So our big concern is um, uh, like things like livestock and animals that have been found dead in the water. Um, as the water rises, it's caught a lot of farmers out and a lot of properties, so there is going to be uh, health concerns. So we're really sure that that, uh, we want to tell people not to come back into floodwaters and not to return to your home if you've evacuated until you get the all clear from SES and council because uh, health is our main priority. And we've got a high tide. Well, we've got a high tide approaching today. Is that going to affect uh, the town here? Yeah, look, it does. It pushes water back up the river system, so I'm sure there's a lot more concerns down close to Ballina at the mouth of the river. Um, it's quite a high tide too. I think it's around 1.8 metres, which is sort of uh, on the upper end of it. So that, along with some of the winds that are on the coast, are going to push the water sort of back up the river. So it is going to back up um, and it's going to affect our tide here in Lismore. Well, Isaac, thank you so much for that. Thank you. And uh, guys, we've just got a good wrap up of just how this is going to unfold today. Only just the beginning, high tide approaching later today, which could cause more problems. So this is a, a quickly unfolding situation. Yeah, indeed. And the lasting one, uh, as the, uh, the mayor just told you, Jackson, thanks so much for that. Now it's been